Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Prison Architect the Village Island. I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it Prison Island uh, or Penitentiary Island or uh, Pen Island if you want to really shorten it. But anyways, we are back. I did a lot of building off camera because I feel like that would be kind of boring if I did it all can on camera. But at least I did some planning. I got enough building done so that we can get somewhere. And here we are with 17 bucks left and we are running out of money quickly. So we're going to need to take another grant. I think if we want to stay above the water, we're going to also finish up some of these basic needs. We don't have a shower yet. I still don't know if it's better to have shower rooms or put showers in the individual cells. You guys could probably help me out with that. I usually put the showers in the invis in individual cells, but uh, maybe not this time. Fortunately, we are going to need to take another grant if we even want to finish the shower as we have no money at all to even put down any sort of shower heads or anything. Our danger level is increasing for some reason. Oh, because our staff morale is low, which makes sense because I forgot to put a staff room. So let's actually take a grant to make sure that our grant, our staff is okay. I believe that should be staff well-being initiative. So we'll take that 10K. I should have checked how much money they would have given me in the first place. <laughs> that was a useless grant. And now I can't grab any more unless I quit one. And I don't want to quit one because mistakes were made. Okay, so we're going to have to go hard on getting these exports. Really dismantle all of these trees. Get some cash and then we will wait it out and see how much money we can get. But at least finish the shower. And then we'll see about what I can do about hiring these books and guards so that I can at least finish this grant, get 10k, then do the staff room and get another 10k on top of that. I think that'll probably be the best course of action, but we shall see. Also, I just found out you can actually add more islands. So if you can expand, I add just upgraded land expansion, which I really think I wasted a lot of money doing that, but it's okay. And we can actually just build another island, which is good. So we can add more. We can change the shape of this island if we need to. So it's going to be pretty good. I have a really good plan now since I know we can do that. We can also build boat docks and ferry docks and be able to transport prisoners and stuff to islands. So I might have like a criminally insane island over here or a max security island, something like that. It'll be really cool. I have good ideas coming up, but let's not worry about that. So we crossed that bridge. So shower head cost about 20 bucks and I'm three dollars off. We have quite a bit of logs waiting for the exports. Let's actually increase our exports. I really should have turned off staff needs, but I think it adds a little bit more realism, adds a little bit more fun if you need something to do. So let's get these hurry up and cut down. We're gonna miss the exports for tonight, I believe, but we will have enough money to at least put a few shower heads. We can fit one more log or so on it. And at least maybe a couple hundred bucks. I don't remember exactly how much it is. Oh, 2,000. Holy crap, I'm in the wrong industry. I should start forestry. <laughs> I forgot about that. Everyone says the life hack is to use forestry to, uh, what's the word? To kind of generate annual income because trees give you almost an exorbitant amount of money. But I don't know if I'll do that just yet. I do want to start a farming island. Oh, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll have this be like the prison island for containing and then we can have different sort of jobs different DLCs on different other islands as I expand out and I will skip probably between recordings so that we can expand out quicker and not have like three episodes just on like an island or something maybe five I don't know so we'll figure it out but I think now that our shower is done we can just wait for that to get built and we can also get started on a staff room I will make this a I will I need to clean this up absolutely and I will do that later though because right now I want to make another row we don't have the money for this big right here oh we got some more income from some more trees dropping so that's good we should be getting that for a while now and now we just need two guards and two cooks so let's grab one two one two boom we now have 10k the bag and i just lost about four 5,000 of that, right? <laughs> just building this little thing right here just for the staff. So what we're going to have is a door. We're going to just make it a staff door, I believe. All right. 
this room is built and I forgot to make it brick walls. Gosh dang it. Well, you can fix that later. Uh, what we're gonna do also is do a different sort of wall. They say rusty walls. I think Dragon suggested rusty walls to make it a more island look, even though it does degrade a prison cell. I'll look, I like that idea. I'll think about it, but well, for now, we're gonna worry about the bigger issues in front of us. So let's grab some lights. I forgot to actually put the lights in. Okay, close enough. Anyways, we're going to grab a, should I do a quick build staff room or should I just do a staff room in general? Let's see if I can, yeah, that so we can get some walls going. It'll be a bit of a long boy right here. And we're gonna grab some more walls like so, do that. When we get more money, uh, we're gonna also probably expand this out so that we can fit walls, so that we can actually, you know, make this one look nice compared to <laughs> this. This is this is what the building on the right side is supposed to look like. And there's so many things, I really don't even know what I should put. Oh, a helipad. Ooh, I like this. Okay, where should I put this? Maybe I should probably think it through, all things considered. But what I'm gonna do is just put it right here for now and then we can figure it out. There's a lot of cool stuff here in the objects. This DLC adds a crap load of things. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get through them all, but that's that's just fine. All right, I do believe we do have to assign some more guards and there we go. 10K in the grand. Wait, 10 grand in the K? Fuck it, I don't know. Let's just grab another grant for now. Uh, let's see, what actually looks good for us, right? Friendly insane, no, equal friendly. Uh, maybe not. Restaurant, ooh, we can start a restaurant. Oh, I can have a restaurant island. Oh, this is gonna be great. Sub block A. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow, that was good. Okay, all right, sub block B maybe is next. Increase capacity to 50. Maybe not. We'll we'll just do prison maintenance. Yeah. Oh wait, I already have all that stuff. Health and well-being. Wow. Wow. What a great influx of cash that I did not expect. Okay. Cool. So now that we actually have the cash to do things, let's pause it and then do a little bit of building, and then I'll get back to you when I finish doing some more of that. Oh my goodness. Whoa. A helicopter just flew in and dropped off a bunch of supplies. I don't know if that's what I wanted because I was fine with the ferry, but uh, okay. I'm in the middle of trying to build a staff bathroom, you know, to add some realism, maybe some niceties for them, but I guess we need walls first before that happens. And I finally found this dismantle object thing you guys are probably yelling about in the comments, so let's just do it. <laughs> okay, so let's just dismantle all those trees and then we can add some more trees later if we really need to. I think I should have put this helicopter in a more central place. Uh, can I move it? Whoa. Connected to things? Oh, I see. Oh, I see what's going on here. You can like connect certain, oh, uh, that's awesome. Get the whole supply chain going. Okay, good to know. We can mess with that a little bit later. For now, we're gonna just finish up this shower and then we're going to also open up intake because we can so let's just fill it to 15. i i don't see any problem with that right now okay well i was not expecting it but here we are i've completely forgot that i was except for getting in prisoners and um we do so i'm gonna need to hire some more guards i know i don't want an overkill but i am overworking guards already so we're just gonna take up to 10 or so wow First in income, intake, I don't know what you call them, fresh meat of the season. We have Matt Welch, we got Ellison. We, I'm not even gonna go through all these people. They're probably gonna end up dead somehow or another in the future. So we'll just pick up on the people that catch our eye. But it does look like we have a nice diverse bunch. So far, no complete troublemakers. I've taken all medium security, I believe. We are gonna need a laundry room that does remind me of that fact, but we can figure that out later. I am in the middle of expanding this to make this look a lot nicer and, you know, finish off their offices and whatnot, but we're gonna finish that a little bit later. I need to make sure that these guys get to where they need to go uh, efficiently. I think the prison is preliminary ready for them. 
And now that we actually have like fog of war on, we're going to need some guards and deployment and all that other stuff. So here comes a helicopter. It seems to come in from like every other direction. It just comes in from different directions, which is pretty cool, honestly. Uh, but it gets kind of annoying when it just flies right over your prison, <laughs> but that's okay. So now that we've got these guys stationed, let's, uh, we, do we have patrol routes? I need to actually unlock that. So let's actually go through our bureaucracy and get some things going, including surveillance. Armory, is that necessary yet? Yeah, honestly, it probably is. Prison labor. Oh, absolutely. Legal. Yeah. Extra grant. Sure. 500 bucks. That's not a problem. Tax relief. Micromanagement. I believe I do need that as well. So I don't know what's next. There are no prisons. Oh, shoot. You're right. We don't have any actual security around here. So let's grab some walls. I don't know if I should make this indoor. Is there an easy way to make this indoor? That should secure most of the area. Although this is an island, so it's not like they can just swim away anyway. So I'm not worried. too worried about them escaping. <laughs> How's everybody doing, guys? Rogers, you're doing good. Tom Ranger, you're also doing good. So far, they're not causing too much trouble. They just have nowhere to eat. Soon, my friends. Soon. I accidentally uh, got all my workers busy trying to build, <laughs> trying to take down all the trees. We got a lot of progress done, but I realized nothing else was getting done in the prison, which, you know, I knew that was going to happen, but still, I still did it. Anywho, this guy, Andrew Nash over here is uh, unknown reputation. Seems to be the one waiting the longest. Hopefully he's not too angry about that. But do I actually care? No, no, I actually don't. I don't know if it's just because I don't have enough workers. I might actually hire some more now since I have some income. I believe eight is not a lot. So let's go up to 50. It will be a good time eventually once all these workers start doing their jobs because you seem to be very slow. And I don't know whose fault that is. It might be mine. It probably is mine before I think about it. But, uh, you know, when some lose most, as I like to say. I also going to want to get some deployment here. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but I do think having some sort of workers in the area shall be good, at least until I can get uh, cameras and what. So I think that'll be fine. I don't know why it's saying there's no... I put in the orders for these pipes, but they're not coming in yet. I think people are still carrying these logs around, which kind of unfortunate. Let's speed up some time and get some more jobs done. Now yard time, but I don't know why they aren't going to the yard. Is that because there's no actual path for them or it's like an unsecure location per se? It shouldn't be, but I guess that makes sense because I don't actually have the proper room set up, which I really should have thought about earlier, but I didn't think about it too much. I don't really think about much as you can tell. It's starting to rain now. Oh, what is this? Gross. I don't know there was rain in this game. Actually, yes, I did. There, there's been weather for a while. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like I didn't know. I think that is good enough in terms of security. I don't think they will try to escape this early into <laughs> the game, but who knows? I might have a bunch of Beckwiths, and I really hope I don't end up with one. I will be very frustrated, and I might not hesitate to kill them in some creative way, to be honest, because I don't really want to have to tolerate a Beckwith anymore. In case you don't know what a Beckwith is, go check out my Prison Architect Village series. Shameless plug to that. Uh, we have lots of interesting things that happened on that, and it was really long-lasting too, so feel free to check it out. It was pretty fun. I accidentally hired a psychiatrist instead of a uh, psychologist. Uh, whoops. And we're gonna sack you as well because you are useless to me. Sorry. And I think that does open up the common room. We just need to get the electricity over here. What's we're gonna do on this other side of this room? This is all temporary, by the way. I do actually have plans, but I did want to at least get prisoners in here. So we're gonna need to hire some more guards, unfortunately, because it looks like everybody is taking up some space. So 15 guards. All right, finally, the infirmary is getting finished in its building. This guard is not happy for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, but I'll wait until this uh, stuff is connected. Okay, everything looks to be connected and everything seems to be good. So what we're going to do now is actually not do these large jail doors. Maybe we will just to add some more security and we can have one guard here in between and assign a guard here so that they can just always be 
spending their entire lives opening doors for the rest of their lives. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I can't find my chefs. They are nowhere to be found. It looks like the workers are running around the outside to grab things, which I guess makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think psychology. Okay, finally. We finally unlocked psychology and we don't have an office for him yet, but we do have the grant completion. So good for us. Uh, he can go into the staff only bathroom. I believe I can set that up right now for his staff only. Not purple instead of black. I do think the only, having this being the only restroom in the entire prison probably isn't a good look. So I'll have to add some throughout. It's, <laughs> it's okay for now. Oh, it is very cold. Oh, don't tell me that I have to worry about heating and stuff like that too. Cause I forgot about that. Uh, needs is warmth. Environment warmth, I forgot about. Cause it's a pretty cold rainy day right now and we're gonna need some radiators, some sort of way to heat. Is there a different way to heat up uh, prisons now in these new DLC? Uh, moose head. <laughs> I, dragon head, will that heat up things? I don't know. I guess radiators are gonna be the way. I forgot that I turned on heat and all that stuff so we're gonna have to figure this out immediately. Do we need one? I guess we do need one just kind of about everywhere. So let's just start doing it now so that we don't kill our prisoners before we even start playing the game. I forget the heat distribution along uh, cell blocks. So what I'm going to do is just do corners. One here, one here, and then we'll see what that looks like. We're also going to do one here. Uh, we're going to do one in the canteen, common room. It looks like they are old yes and let's do one out here for the guard and here hopefully this guy doesn't freeze to death either oh man that was a huge oversight on my part on not seeing if we needed warmth which honestly that's entirely on me hey the chef actually used the bathroom so that's good so they're using the restrooms which is good you can actually snag a uh radiator probably oh we also need to fix this up let me pause it real quick and snag these and i keep on saying snag like i'm grabbing them but i'm really just trying to put them so i can make sure these guys don't absolutely die and we're going to move these doors i think if you like double click you can actually move doors now which is kind of cool so i don't think i actually need to dismantle all these doors but it's fine it's too late for that and i'm actually not too worried about it so now that we have these walls set up we can figure out the sizing and the actual placement of the office later. But I think this new moving thing is actually really cool. I did not know it was here until I was playing a little bit earlier uh, off camera. Everyone's closed and now we need to finish the rest of uh, utilities. I believe that means we need water boilers and heat pipes and whatnot. So we're going to need to do that. Good thing I have these perfect two by two little corners where I can just put these down. It was me planning ahead without actually knowing what I was doing. Cold water goes in, hot water will go out. I don't I don't remember how far hot water goes, but I do know it's not super far, so I'm just kind of uh, playing it by ear for now. I also need hot water for these sinks right here. We'll probably need some down here as well. No, I guess not. Oh boy. I see the notification that some trouble is getting caused right now, and I'm not sure if I like that one bit. Uh, don't know where. It looks like a little fight has broken out because they are cold over here. They have bowel. They have safety issues. There's just issues already. Okay, well, that's that's on me for not letting uh, them be warm in their own prison. I feel like that is a pretty big thing that I <laughs> did not overlook or that I did overlook a little bit too much, but that's okay. Let's make sure that these are staff only. All right, the water heaters are coming in, friends. I'm sorry. You know, if you guys freeze to death, that's entirely on you. There's clearly blankets in your room. So if you should just do that, I feel like that's a better idea. Why aren't the cooks? I need more cooks, don't I? I felt like two would be fine, but I think they were both on break at the same time. The, the food was supposed to be prepared and the food was not prepared. So I don't know. Is there a way I can like schedule their breaks to make sure they don't do that anymore? Because that would be ideal i don't know if this is actually going to reach but we're going to try it anyways <laughs> we have some more trouble going on right here what's going on guys 
Jeez. This has been a solid start so far to the series. We've got one in handcuffs, we're waiting for solitary, and three more in the pen. Goodness. Well, this isn't pretty at all, but that's okay. It's it's gonna be okay eventually. Once our workers, I did hire a lot more construction workers, so we should be getting the water sorted soon, hopefully. Like we already have the pipes here, so we just need to connect the pipes and then we should be good. But I am not entirely sure if that's going to work or not. These things need electricity too. I should have thought about that. I mean, it makes sense. They didn't need electricity before, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, it makes sense. So let's let's actually connect these up. <laughs> Our station is overloaded. Thank you for that heads up. I completely forgot about that. I was adding a lot of electricity. Let's add some more capacitors. We have the money. We might as well just go ham and wait for the aftermath afterwards. I do think we are getting some more stuff taken care of slowly. I'm not sure if they're warmth yet, but it does look like they are now getting warm. Yay, finally. Okay, good for us. We're actually making some progress. Beautiful. All right, now we can check the needs out of our staff and prisons. It looks like a lot of people do need hygiene, so I might end up putting the showers into the prison, into the cells, because I think that will help with a lot of hygiene issues. Right now, it's lockup before shower time, and we're gonna, it's probably gonna be a huge fight in the shower once things get uh, all said and done. So let's put a guard here, anyways. Okay, danger level is rising. The prisoners are in the showers, and they're satisfying their needs hopefully oh wow it's actually a smooth shower time i was expecting like a massive all-out brawl but uh it was not it is still shower time i wish i could make it 30 minutes but it's okay now it's free time they are free to their own devices and i should probably put a guard in here to make sure that they don't uh have any issues but let's do that let's remove a guard from here making sure everything else is fine. I think that's been a good a good building time. I got a lot done and I got some income and some intake and hopefully these prisoners can now eat fine. I'm gonna slow things down and guards are on break. Okay, things are looking a lot better. Goodbye, Mr. Supply Helicopter. All right, all the prisoners are satisfied. We have one up for parole soon. Oh goodness, I need to add a parole room and all that other stuff as well. Well, we can expand that out. I have the planning for that. We're gonna add all these buildings in and then I will do that off camera. And once that's in, I will record again and we will start seeing how much expansion we can actually do. But until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening, and I will see you next time.